Hi guys, in today's lesson I'm gonna share with you another very healthy breakfast recipe called a yogurt parfait. Now like all the other recipes that you've seen so far, this is super simple and easy to prepare, but it is loaded with nutritional benefits. So I'm gonna introduce you to the ingredients that you see here first, and then I'll show you how easy it is to prepare. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna first start off by talking about our protein source first. And what we're gonna use for protein in this recipe is yogurt, which is a great source of protein and calcium. But why I'm showing you this is because not all yogurts are created equal. So I have three different kinds here. I have a traditional yogurt that has fruit on the bottom, so it's gonna be loaded with added sugar. I have a flavored Greek yogurt, and this is vanilla, so again, it's gonna have some added sugar. And I have a plain Greek yogurt, which is my preference because it doesn't have any added sugars and is loaded with protein. So I wanna show you these and at least make you more aware of what you're dealing with when you choose each kind. Now, obviously the traditional yogurts are much more popular. However, if you've looked at the grocery store lately, you'll see Greek yogurts popping up everywhere. And it's because people are becoming a little more aware that they are much healthier for you because traditional yogurts are loaded with added sugars. They don't contain nearly as much protein and they have more ingredients. Now, for example, this particular brand has 25 grams of sugar. Now, but keep in mind that the sugars that you see on this Nutrition Facts are both naturally occurring and the added in kind because this is a dairy source. Now, when you compare this to a plain traditional yogurt, which has about 12 grams, that means that there's about 13 grams of added sugar in this container, okay? That's a lot, especially for something that you may have every day for either breakfast and or a snack. So really try to limit how much of these that you consume. Not that it's bad to consume these every now and then, but just think of how much added sugar that you are consuming with these. Now, I prefer a Greek yogurt because again, they're higher in protein, less added sugars and fewer ingredients. So they are healthier, much more healthy than a traditional kind. But here I have vanilla, which means it's gonna be flavored with added sugars. And this particular brand has 17 grams. Now, when you compare it to plain, the exact same size container, which you see here, this particular brand has just six grams of sugar. This has 17, which means that this has no added sugars. This has both naturally occurring and added. Therefore, this has about 11 grams of added sugar. Again, not as nearly as much as a traditional, but still you're dealing with quite a few grams there of the added in kind, where if you go plain and flavor it yourself, which I'm gonna show you how I do that, you significantly knock off a lot of calories, especially the added in kind with the sugars. So when you can, choose plain. If you don't have plain available, go with a flavored Greek. And at a last resort for, for a protein or calcium source, it is okay every now and then to go with traditional. But I highly recommend a flavored Greek or best yet when you have available to you a plain Greek. All right, so I imagine you're probably wondering where, where's the 100% whole grain, Joe? Well, our choice, my preference, is granola. And I like this bare naked fit variety because when you compare it to other granolas out there, this has much less added sugar. Now, yes, this does contain some added sugars, but the number one ingredient is whole grain oats. So we know that we're dealing with that 100% whole grain. And it's something that just is a little bit different. Now, if you wanted to substitute your favorite whole grain cereal for this, go right ahead. But again, this provides us a little different kind of flavor and uniqueness to this recipe, so I prefer to use granola. So this is a particular product that you can find in most grocery stores, so it's become fairly common, which is why I'm recommending it to you, and it's not so dense with added sugars. So this is what we're gonna be using in today's recipe. Okay, we're gonna balance our breakfast with a healthy fat. And again, I recommend that you use ground flaxseed because it is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids from the plant world. Remember, flax is a superfood because of those omega-3 fatty acids. It's also a great source of fiber and has a little protein. And breakfast provides us with the perfect opportunity to incorporate it into whatever recipe that we may be using. Now, I also wanna mention something else in that if you do use this particular brand of bare naked granola, this does 
does have whole almonds in it, which is a great source of heart healthy monounsaturated fats. So this product actually has a mix of some of those healthy fats in it, but I still want you to use the ground flaxseed. Now, keep in mind, if you do decide to go with a different variety that may not have a healthy fat in it, or you choose your favorite whole grain cereal, you're gonna be looking to add some healthy fats, and that's where this ground flaxseed comes in. So use it even if you use this particular brand that has the almonds. Now, what would a healthy breakfast be without your favorite fruit? And I prefer a cup of thawed berries or raw berries, depending on the season. And what I have here are blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries that I'm gonna add. But you can add your favorite fruit. But if you can, I recommend berries because of how much fiber that they contain. Remember, a cup is gonna have about five grams, and these are packed full of antioxidants. So it's a true superfood, and you wanna to try to find reasons to incorporate berries for your fruit source as much as possible. So I recommend that you use them in this recipe, but you don't have to, use your favorite. Now before I show you how easy this is to prepare, I do want to introduce you to a more natural sweetener, a more healthier sweetener, if you will, that's on store shelves now, and this is called Stevia. Now this is a natural sweetener, but I don't want to lead you down that wrong path. This is still highly refined and processed, so it isn't like this comes right from the Stevia plant into this box, okay? It still goes through a pretty large amount of processing in order to produce this. But when you compare it to sweeteners like Equal, Sweet and Low, Splenda, this does appear to be your healthiest choice right now because it is more natural versus those man-made sweeteners. So while I highly recommend that you limit how much added sugar and sweeteners that you use each day, if you are gonna sweeten something like plain Greek yogurt with anything, I would recommend that you go with Stevia because it does appear I'm just saying up here because there isn't conclusive evidence one way or the other with this, and the same with all those other artificial sweeteners, which could be even more dangerous, that this is a healthy choice. But if you are gonna sweeten it with something, this does appear right now to be your healthiest option. So you can find this almost every grocery store now, and what I recommend and actually use, if you are gonna sweeten something like plain Greek yogurt, use stevia versus some of those other ones out there that could be potentially very dangerous. I wanna show you how easy this is to prepare. The first thing I like to do is to sweeten my plain Greek yogurt with a stevia packet. So I like to do that in the container before I actually put it into the bowl, which makes it a little bit easier to mix up. So just go ahead and dump a packet of stevia into that plain yogurt and mix it up real good, again, before you dump it into the bowl. Okay, once you feel like that stevia is mixed in there good, you can go ahead and dump the entire container of yogurt into your bowl. All right, now the next thing I want you to add is the ground flax, because it'll be easier to stir around. Remember, I'm gonna use my thumb from the tip to its first joint to estimate about a tablespoon. Just go ahead and sprinkle that in there, and then go ahead and mix it in to that yogurt before you add anything else. All right, once you get the ground flax mixed in there good, we're gonna add a quarter cup of our granola. Now remember, I want you to use a measuring cup because of how calorically dense this can be. You don't wanna get too much. So just get a level quarter cup and then just go ahead and dump it in there. And if you wanna mix it around, you can. And then to that then, we're just gonna top our yogurt parfait with a cup of berries or your favorite fruit. Absolutely delicious, extremely healthy, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson as you once again saw how quick and easy it can be to prepare a really healthy breakfast each day, which you can also use for a healthy snack if you ever need as well. You can print today's recipe by clicking the attachment button underneath this video. I'll see you again next time. Have a great and healthy day.